Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do a video about how to tame your guinea pig. So the way I tamed my guinea pig is that, um, well, Nibbles, she's the more tamed one. So I tamed her by, and I didn't really know a lot by, like, about how to tame guinea pigs. So I just picked her up a lot, and then I actually got a little, like, harness, like a leash to walk her around in. And she really hated it, but I put her, like, I forced her into it, which is really bad. <laughs> she didn't get hurt or anything. So I kind of just, like, put her in harnesses and stuff, and I carried her around everywhere. I gave her a lot of treats. And at first, they're always going to be really scared of you, but I would just not stay away from them. Like, a lot of people say that. But I would, I just want, like, if you're going to have to pick them up, which you are, then you want to get them to like you and get used to you. And I did this to one of my cats, too, and, um, Daisy, but she's gone now, because she, it's a long story, but she's gone. So, she was really tame, and that was only because we were, like, throwing her around and stuff when she was a kitten, but we were really young, so, like, we didn't know that, that was, she really didn't get hurt, but we were, like, like, six years old, so... And then we got another cat and we didn't do that to him and he's he's still pretty shy but he like he hates being picked up but daisy loved being picked up and so um nibbles is she's the one that i tamed a lot like you know i tamed my own way and she's really like she's pretty tame she's like no guinea pig really likes being picked up but she's okay with it and then peaches is really like very shy like she's not come out when i'm around her barely and she just is very shy. She rarely eats food out of my hand, and yeah. So, and the way I tamed her, and this is just, I, I, like, I got her after I got nibbles, and so I tamed her, like, the way that, like, everyone was saying on YouTube to tame her, like, oh, like, um, don't touch them for the first two weeks. Just look at them and talk to them a lot, talk around them a lot and stuff. So I did that. I never, I'd never picked her up or anything. So, She's like very untamed and that did not work at all. I would not suggest for anyone to do that. It just doesn't work. I would suggest just picking them up a lot, just very gently giving them treats and making sure they're comfortable around you rather than like just leaving them alone and never being around them because that doesn't work at all. And that's pretty much just how I tamed them. And that's the way that works. At least for me. Just show you guys the guinea pig to show you what I mean by like, you can guess which one's nibbles and which one's peaches if you don't already know. So, here. So I have some vegetables here. I'm just gonna eat lettuce. They love lettuce a lot. Like guinea pigs love lettuce, everyone knows that. So just guess which one's nibbles and which one's peaches. You can just take a good guess. Just take a good guess. Prime will be wrong. She really wants it, but she's not coming to get it because she's not tame. Nibbles was really shy, like they were both the same amount of shy at first. Oh, and she just got poked in there with a the lettuce. <laughs> so that's what I mean, like you can obviously tell which one's less tame. So you can obviously tell that Peaches is the orange one and Nibbles is the gray one. And they're really different. <laughs> You might think it's their personalities, but I swear it's not. Like, I, that happened with our cats, too, so it can't be a coincidence. And that's just how it works. Like, people might get mad at me for saying, like, like you should do it the way everyone's saying, and, like, you're gonna hurt the guinea pigs. Like, it doesn't hurt them. That's just how they get tamed. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like, comment, and subscribe.